Welcome back to the afterburner build. I've got all the panels um, planed down and sanded and they're actually looking really good. I've taken the, the two tips and put them both together on both fours on each end and they match each other. Um, same with the, with the centre panels, um, they, they're matching all really good. So all i got to do now, or tonight, is um, put some glass on there, let it dry, and um, I'll then start cleaning off the other side. I've uh, cut some templates on how the, the end of the wings are going to be. I've actually just taken them straight out of my wind burner mould, so they're exactly the same, same curve as those. Um, because it's the same root cord and, and tip cord as the wind burner, it's just been stretched out to two metres. But I think the first thing I've got to do is um, have a bit of a clean up. I've got quite a pile of shavings here. While my wing panels are drying, I'm going to work on my fuse. Now, my fuse has been glued together with um, strips of 9mm MDF, um, so I've actually got a, the centre line there, or the glue line you can see, is dead centre of my fuse. Uh, when I glued my, my, um, my fin up, I glued two pieces of 9mm together and put the air fold in dead centre, so I've actually got a centre line on there as well. So actually attaching this to the, the fuse should be quite easy. I've um, ground a, a flat on there so that, that my fin will sit onto. And all I've got to do now is line those, those centre lines up and uh, make sure that the fin is sitting um, dead vertical, then um, we should be good to go. I've just got the fin glued on. With a lot of checking and rechecking and making sure that it was dead straight, um, I'm pretty happy with how it's sitting at the moment. I had to take the um, piece out of the wing saddle because I know that that cut is dead square to the fuse. So I screwed a block to that and put a, a ruler on that and um, it actually it lines up pretty good to it. So I put a piece of tape on there on halfway so I, can, I know exactly where halfway is so I can line my, my um, square up to it and um, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. So I'll just wait and see how it goes tomorrow when it's drying. I got my fin glued on last night. I still got a bit of um, shaping and, and that to do around the towel section here on the fuse. Um, the fuse will be finishing um, at the same length as the back of the fin. Just a little bit more shaping and sanding to do there. Um, the rest of it's uh, you know, it's pretty good, so um, I'll be working on that, not tonight, because um, I've got my wing panels, all, all the glasses dry and cleaned off of them, so I'm just going to um, set them up to um, plane down the other side. I've um, got some timber and double-sided tape them to the, to the wing panel. Um, I've taped them on the back there, on the back of the airfoil to support it when I'm playing it down. Plus now that that is going to sit pretty rigid onto my bench and I'm going to screw um, that down to my bench so that I can plane it. I've got a lot more material to remove on the underside of these uh, wing panels so I'm going to take most of it off with this. Just a little note when you're sanding your the panel down, um, if you've got more material to come off this edge than this edge, um, when you, you're holding your sanding block, if you put more pressure down on that, that end and just guide the other end, um, you, you'll plane it, you'll sand it down on an angle. Uh, same if it was a little bit more on, on this edge than, than this edge. If you put more pressure on this side, um, you'll, you'll sand it the other way. Um, just something I was thinking about when I was sanding. Had a good night tonight. Planed all the bottoms down, sanded, and got a piece of glass. Thanks for watching.